and a crucial political ally, Yulia Tymoshenko. Without her, Yushchenko could not have won. I think the most important thing in our revolution is the faith of people. People believed that their life could be free, that their life could be happy. They fought for themselves, for their children. And we just helped them to see this faith in the politics that can be honest and work. The new Prime Minister also has strong links to the bad old days of Ukrainian The new Prime Minister also has strong links to the bad old days of Ukrainian politics. She says the old regime tried to destroy her, taking away her business, charging her with corruption and throwing her in jail. There's even a warrant for her arrest in Russia on bribery charges. Persecution by a hated regime made Timoshenko the people's hero. And if all the forces of the white regime are thrown into my destruction, then I do everything right. And the prison was only a witness to this. It is, by any measure, a stunning comeback. There's already talk of when, not if, she'll challenge Viktor Yushchenko for the presidency. I, of course, do not exclude this, but we have a Viktor Yushchenko a firm agreement that I will support him. My guest today is one of the very few female leaders of Eastern Europe. Five years ago, along with her former ally, Viktor Yushchenko, she captured the imagination of the world. It was, of course, in Ukraine in 2004. It was the Orange Revolution. Now, five years ago, there was so much hope about what Ukraine could achieve. Reforms, changes, a more transparent society. And yet, today, there's a lot of uh, disenchantment in your country. Why is that? Why have the reforms stalled and failed. Well, we truly believed that the Orange Revolution would become a real revolution, which means that one form of power comes in and replaces another. Prior to the revolution, we had an oligarchy uh, that was dates back to the time of Aristotle, run by clans or big financial groups. They're united in power and also control the media. Undoubtedly, uh, this is, gives rise to a lot of corruption. There is a lack of freedom of speech, total absence of democracy, and there are no transparent mechanisms for the uh, proper economies functioning. We thought that the Orange Revolution could turn around this oligarchy and give rise to true democracy. Undoubtedly, there was a lot of enthusiasm. People believed in our revolution. People were very excited and they felt freedom. Unfortunately, the change of power did not take place. But I can't say that the past five years have been wasted. They have not. We have given birth to the freedom of expression, true political competition, and we also got started in getting our economy, freeing our economy of all of these underground forces.